Hello, and thank you for joining us, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Thank you for joining us today. I do have my guest, my daughter-in-law, Selena, <laughs> from California. You've heard me talk about her and my son. So Selena's not a stamper, and we're going to create a card together today, her first time stamping. And talk about being nervous, a first time stamper doing it live. <laughs> so hop on, say hi, let us know where you're watching from, and grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with us. Okay, before we get started, just a couple of reminders. I do have my retreat, my online retreat going on this month. That's with the Fragrant Flowers Bundle. All the links will be below, so you want to check that out. Donna Gray and myself have the craft party going on live um, on Facebook, special Facebook group, on Saturday the 21st. And also our Sweet Alicious Fun Fold Club. Again, all the links will be below. I'm not going to spend a lot of time with that. Hey, look at that. Denise says hello. Hello from Susan. Oh, Susan's from California, too. Where are you from, Susan? And then don't forget to check out the apparel shop. Now, the apparel shop, Selena's actually the one who uh, designed that and designs all the items in there. So you're going to want to check that out. Okay, so that is our apparel shop. Now, today what we're going to be working on is uh, the Share a Milkshake Bundle. This is my online class for the month of January and also the sampler class. So I thought, what better way to get Selena stamping but to make a card from this bundle. And it's actually going to be a Valentine's Day card. She's going to give to Ryan. So that'll be cute to see. But just so you know, the online class will be with this bundle, but they won't be all valentine's okay so you definitely want to sign up for that by the 10th of this month and uh, the link will be below so let me flip the camera back and we're going to get started so again this is selena everybody say hi hi everybody okay so let's get started here <clears throat> let me clear my throat and i apologize everybody knows how i am once i go live so this is the share your share a milkshake bundle and this is the stamp set. And of course, it's got these beautiful dies. So I'm going to show you a couple samples be right now before we get started that I did with this. I played around with it. So this adorable card, look at that waffle. I love it, that. Isn't That's that cute? So cute? And that is done with this die right here to make it look like a waffle cone. Yeah, it's great. Isn't that cute? And oh, then a I... nice little fold. Yeah. It looks like it's got some dimension to it. I love that. One thing I forgot to mention, and we'll we'll back up after we're done here. I'd like Selena to tell you a little bit about what she does in California. She is the co-owner of Little Shop Agore, an online um, website with my son. So, well, let's flip back. Since this is live, we can do whatever we want. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your shop and what you do? Yeah, I can tell you guys about it. So uh, I am co-owner of Little Shop of Gore with my husband and her son, Ryan. And we are based out of Los Angeles, California. And what we're known for mainly is our sculptures. We do a lot of great replica sculptures from some of our favorite movies and TV shows. So if you go to littleshopagora.com, you can find our website. And just right there, it gives you a whole rundown of all the stuff that we have to offer. And we got tons of great stuff coming this year. So I'm really excited about that. And um, we have a couple of conventions that we also do in Los Angeles. We're going to be doing Monster Palooza. That's in uh, Burbank, California. No, Monster Palooza is in Pasadena. We're also doing Son of Monster Palooza, which is a smaller version of Monster Palooza. That one's going to be in Burbank, California. So. If you're in the area, stop by and you can come see us. Oh, definitely. Stop by and say hi to them. Let them know that you saw Selena on Facebook Live with us or YouTube Live. You can't wait. You can't wait. Oh, you can't hear. Can oh. everybody can't hear her? Oh, you're you're a little soft spoken. I'm a little soft spoken. <laughs> Not like her mother-in-law who's very loud. <laughs> okay, so um, definitely check out their um, events and their page. I know we actually have a few stampers that have bought things from their site. So check it out. All right, I'm going to flip this back. Okay, so this card right here is one that I designed. Just a, a cute little card. And again, the waffle cone, which uh, is a die in this set. 
and you're the cherry on top. So that's one stamp you can, oh, she's, uh, Susan, uh, Susan's in Northern Carol California. So Susan, I hope you're okay. I know they've had some bad weather there. I guess it's a good thing that Selena and Ryan are here. Yeah. Thank you, Molly. So that was one card. Then here's another one I did. And of course, these are more dies that come with the stamp set, Celebrate. Now, this one, I used the happy birthday from the Fancy Flora. So you don't have to do Valentine's Day cards with this stamp set. It's very versatile. So there's a birthday card. And then I used our Memories and More cards, which are already pre-cut. These are great for new stampers because the cards are already done for you. And then I just added some more die cuts. And again, this is from the Fancy Flora die set the banner, which I absolutely love those. Oh, oh you got a, <laughs> a high from Palmdale. Yes, Paper Hugs is actually Molly. She's in my group. Oh. And we are checking the um, comments. And if we don't you know, mention you or get back to you with a question, we will after the live event. So that was the third one I did. So we're going to actually do some stamping now. And I am going to walk Selena through the process of how to stamp. So we're going to use this mat because these are photopolymer stamps and a piece of our white cardstock. So we're going to start with the milkshake glass, and we're going to do that in smoky slate. Now, don't be nervous. If you make a mistake, as my friend Win Ann always says, there's no mistakes in <laughs> stamping. It's just creative differences. So you're going to ink that stamp up and just push it down on that paper. Okay, so I am a little nervous because I don't usually stamp, so I'm also very excited for this. That's though. okay. So I'm going to be asking a lot of questions. That's good. So for inking this up, how many times do I? You just uh, press it down a few times. You want to, it's a, it's very sticky. All right. Oh, and oh, you just want to look at the image and see that it's got all the ink. Now this is uh, a two-step stamping. So you're going to put something right over it. So if okay. you miss a spot, it's not a big deal. So you're just going to stamp that down there, there. Press it down. It's, you know, pretty hard. Okay. Pull Lift. it up. And you, perfect. perfect, look at that, first time. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go back in that same stamp okay. with a darker gray and okay. a different stamp. All right, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's it's just a little bit of a, times. yeah. And then you're gonna line that up. Now it's pretty, you can kind of see it because it's clear. So you wanna like line it up right here. You take the stamp. All right. And just try to line it up to that. We do have a, a stamp apparatus which helps you line up things but for a new stamper that can be a little bit um scary so don't worry about this this is actually going to get cut off if it doesn't meet up at the top perfect okay now we're going to take the sweet sorbet and jo joan says it, it's only paper that's right joan you make a mistake <laughs> you grab another piece of paper or you flip it over so you're going to do the same thing you're going to ink it up okay that's good and then you're going to put that right right here Just right here? there yeah because we're cutting these out. Right, right? we're going to cut those okay. out. Okay, and we are done. Now, one thing I always do, this one we're going to use again. I am going to close these up because, as you know, I will get my hands <laughs> in everything and I'll have ink everywhere, so. That's me too. <laughs> Pain everywhere, right? Okay, so we're going to take this off. Now I'm going to go in here and I am going to grab two dies. I'm going to grab this die to cut that out. Okay. And this die actually cuts this out. Now, this die actually has a little slit in it, and it's to put in the um, straw. We're not going to use that today, but you'll see what I mean. Okay, so we're going to move this aside for a minute. Oh, we're going to not oh, use no that. Nope, we're going to use that we're again. Gonna use so it. I'm going to bring in this, the uh, embossing machine. Now, don't let this scare you. It's not scary <laughs> at all. I'm going to show you how to use this. Okay, so this gets layered. There's layers of the base, the mat, and a cutting plate. And we're gonna lay that right on there. Now you're just gonna place these right over the images that you just stamped. Okay. And we use post-it notes to hold those in place while we're cutting it. So you're just gonna put that right there, right, right where you had it, I moved it, sorry. And if it's not perfect, don't worry. Remember, there's nothing wrong with making mistakes. There's no mistakes in stamping anyway. I like that post-it note trick. You like that, huh? Holds it in place. Yeah, we, we go through a lot of post-it notes. <laughs> okay, so we would just put this one on here. Whoop. And everybody can attest to the fact that I make tons of mistakes here. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to, we would stand, sandwich this in. And see, I just moved that on you. So let's get that off there. 
and get a better. But this one might need two. Let's just make sure that it's staying down. All right. I know you can't see the images, but so you're going to layer that cutting plate right on top of this one. Okay. And then you're going to take that arm and you're just going to wheel that through. Yeah, I know it's tight and it feels like it's breaking, but it's not. There All we go. right. And then we have our images. Take that away. Yep, just pull that off. We're going to be using that again. But and there's your images. Cute. Okay. Now these pieces right here, I am going to put back because I lose them all the time. So we'll just put those right back in here. And then there's one more thing we're going to do. We're going to use that machine again, but we're going to change it up a little bit. So this is from the color and contour dies. Everybody remembers this. And we're actually going to emboss this. So we have the new cane weave embossing folder. So this is totally different. Okay. Okay. This doesn't cut anything. I already die cut just like that mm -hmm. and made this um, die cut here. What we do is we sandwich that in. We're going to bring that machine back in. Okay. And we're going to emboss this. Now I'm going to take these pieces out and just grab that plate right there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put that on this base piece with this. Okay. And you're going to roll it through again. Now, it feels very tight, I know, but it's not going to break it. And I may not have had that lined up. Let's see. Oh, yes, I did. Perfect. <laughs> so I'll let you take that out. I'll put this back and show them what it's going to look like. Let's see. Embossed. Oh, it's so pretty. See, it's a nice embossed. Yeah, look I love at that. that. Hey, Winan. All right, so now we're going to get some stamping done and some card cutting here. Okay, so we're going to put these aside for a second. All right, so what I did was I already cut these pieces up. I didn't want to have, have you do all of that. So the pieces for this card, again, post-it notes, and this is eight and a half by 11, uh, eight and a half, yeah, five and a half by eight and a half, and we're just going to fold that in half. So go ahead and fold that. Okay. You got your bone folder. I got the bone there. folder now. Everybody, the bone folders, you've asked me about the Stamper's Delight. This is actually Selena and Ryan are actually the ones who engraved that for me. I know this trick. You I, know that I trick. I love this trick. Okay. <laughs> then what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're just going to fold it back one more time, just okay. like that. So this is called the Z Fold card. Now, this is about two and a quarter inches. So what I've gone and done is I've already cut out two pieces of one and three quarters by five. I got two of those. And I also have two pieces of two by five and a quarter. That's these. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put that aside for a second. We're gonna layer those right on top of here. Now I just wanna make sure that it's gonna fit. Yep, you see how I have that layer? Yeah, just I so love you, that. Just see a little edging. Mm -hmm. All right, so those two are gonna go right on here. Now you've never used our stamp and seal, so I'm gonna give you a couple tricks with that. So let me grab a piece of cardstock. The stamp and seal, you just press down, whoop, some thread there, press down and drag, and that's where you get the stickiness from. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna flip this over and go ahead and try that. All right, and what do we want, just you're a gonna, little strip? You're gonna put a strip on each side. Okay. All right, now one other thing we use is a silicone mat. This okay. way, if you get it onto anything, it mm -hmm. like if you, you glue it too far over to the edge, the actual extra glue will stay on there. Oh, that's great. All right, okay. so let's try that. All right. Is it coming out? Okay, <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, I'll okay. get you started. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead, drag it. All right. You got to press down pretty hard on okay. this. And there then you just go. lift up? Yep, lift up at Ooh. the end. There you go. And Very it's sticky. sticky. You're going to do the other side. All right, let's see if I can do this one. How's that? I think you got it. Meanwhile, this one's sticking to my hand. <laughs> yep, you got it. <laughs> okay. So then you're going to just layer that right on this piece right here. All right, and what, uh, just centered? Yeah, just, yep. It's okay. just a tad smaller so you can see the pink. Oh, it's nice. All right, and we're going to do the same thing on this one. 
This is a silicon mat also. I got this on Amazon, so it protects my tabletop. These small silicon pads we sell. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Okay. Oh, you got it. I'm getting the hang of it you're now. You're getting the hang of it, there you go. All right. And you're gonna Flip do the around. other side. Oh, that's sticky. Joyce caught us live for the first time, and I have a guest appearance here, but with my daughter-in-law, Joyce. <laughs> Hi, Joyce. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Okay, go ahead and do that one. All right. Let's line that up. A little off to the left, but... We don't worry about things like that. Cute enough. All right, so we're going to bring this paper back in. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to glue, put glue on both of these. One is going to go here. Okay. And then when you open it, one is going to go on this panel, just like that. Okay. All right. So go ahead and do the backs of both of those. Thank you all for joining us. This is so much fun. This is something that Selena and I have been wanting to do every time they come home to visit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is great. It's a great change for me because I'm usually working with paint and clay and a lot of messy things. Well, this can get messy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to lay that one down on there. All right. And you so really want to check out their website. She does some amazing things. I know that some of you have seen some of her stuff and some of Ryan's stuff because I do post about it. Because, yeah, I brag. <laughs> I do brag a lot, Selena. They'll all tell you. Marcia says your daughter-in-law is doing a fantastic job. Oh, yes, she hey. is. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and then we're going to lay that one down on that panel. All right. How's that? Look at that. Look at that. So if you're watching a first-time watcher and you've never stamped, look how easy it is. Now what we're going to do is we are going to bring in this piece, and that piece is actually going to layer right here. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. So now what you want to do, we want to make sure we have the right side. There we go. You're going to put a couple of two strips of glue right here. You don't want to put any on this side because that's going to be laying right down there. So just add a little glue, like okay. two strips there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And then that gets layered right in there. Look at that. So when you open it, it goes like this. Yeah, I love that. But there'll be a, a white piece in there. All right, so here's the pieces that you already did. Okay. And I did a couple extras, so here's some other colors. See, this is where that little notch is where you can put the straw, but we're going to hide that one. So we're just going to layer this like the, this, okay? Mm -hmm. And the little cherry is going to go on top. So for this, what we use is we want to pop this up. So I'm going to flip those over, and I'm going to show you dimensionals. So these are our large dimensionals, and these are our smaller ones. So I'll do the first one, and they're double-sided, so the take-your-pick tool works perfect for that. So you can put one down on there, one on here, and then I'm going to switch to the small ones. So we're going to put a small one down there. So I'm going to do this one, and then I'll let you do the others. And you see the take-your-pick tool takes those pieces right off for oh, me. Oh, that's neat. So you've actually gifted me one of these, yes, but I, I use did. it for sculpting instead of... <laughs> <laughs> hey, so the stamping. See, stamping up items work for everybody. That's right, because Ryan used this a few times too, right? Yeah. And of course, you got the little spatula end. So mm -hmm. you you love your take your pick tool. Oh, I love it. Yeah. All right. So I laid that down. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take these large dimensionals and put like two on each. Okay. And you're going to layer these. Just like this. Now, you can do any color any way you want. Um, either the yellow or the light pink should be on top because you want this cherry to show up, and it won't show up on the red. Oh, so I'm going to flip idea. those over, and you're going to go ahead and put, like, two dimensionals on each one. Okay, and we want them closer? It, it's a, it, like mm -hmm. about here and here. Okay. And Oh, wait. Okay. Yep. Try let's to see. take your pick tool. All right, let's see. Poke, Poke it. Poke it. Lift it up. Lift it up. There you go. Oh, yeah, and just lay it down. So cool. All right. And, and then, then poke it again? Uh, I would wait, put another one another on there one. first. Okay. All right. All right. Now pick those off. Now poking and yep. then just flipping. Lifting. Yep. There you go. Very cool. Don't worry about that. I use my lint roller or I just throw it on the floor till I... Ooh. There we go. Okay. What color <laughs> is this? Okay. That's the yellow one. All right. So you're going to do that for those two also. Okay. And we'll just put this aside for a second. All right. Let's try again. Barbara from Portland. 
Oh, Sandy. Sandy is another team member of mine. She says, you're doing a great job. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a little tricky getting the hang of it. Did you get your nails done together? No, we actually didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did mine uh, just before Christmas, I think. Yeah. And now they're, of course, last night they just started chipping off. <laughs> Doesn't that always happen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. This is so fun. I can get <laughs> so addicted to doing this. Oh, yeah. All right. And that, you're going to poke, pick those right off. Okay. Yeah. All right. So those are ready to lay down. Okay. So now we got this one. So you can do the, I, I think this one would be first. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what you're, whoop, you're going to lay that across there. Yep. Right about there. Okay. Perfect. Remember, these are ice cream scoops. And let's do peach. We got that one. Whichever one you want. Peach or yellow. Well, let's do maybe, let's do yellow next. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Nice. How about right there? Yep. That's All good. Right. Hey, this is your card. <laughs> oh, that's true. It's, this is my card. <laughs> and it's a Valentine's Day card, so you can give it to Ryan. And I just heard him upstairs, so we don't that's want perfect. him to hear us. No. So she's got three scoops of ice cream. Now, this is small. Okay. So you're going to use the small dimensionals for All that. Right. All right. We're gonna, I'll flip that over for you if I can grab it with my nails. Go ahead. And Hi, Dawn. Got lots of team members on here. I love it. Okay. If you'd like to join my team, we got a great special right now. Going on, and we're gonna put that right on the top. Right here? Yep. Oh, so Look cute. how cute. It's so cute. Look at that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to actually take this piece, and you're gonna do the Be My Valentine. So there's the stamp, and okay. here's the color again. We're gonna use the Sweet Sorbet. And just stamp that anywhere here. We're gonna have to cut it down, because we don't want it to take away from our Okay, so we also have this designer series paper. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna layer that so that it shows up a little bit more. So if you wanna just cut this with um, scissors or would you rather use the paper trimmer? I could just use scissors, I okay. guess. Okay. Just well, a little. Snip. Yeah, if you're good at cutting, I, I'm not. So we're just gonna cut that off a little, okay. a straight line. Straight as you can get it. I don't cut straight lines, so. All right. That's perfect. Now what you're going to do is you're going to layer it. Look at that. It fits right on there. You're going to do the same thing with that glue. You're going to glue that down on this piece up at the top, and then we're going to cut that off. And we want to do just one strip for this one? Um, I would still do two just so it doesn't. Two. Yeah. It's always better to use a little extra glue so your card doesn't come apart. Hey, Bree. All right. All right. So now we're going to bring in this piece, and you're just going to lay that and just leave a little bit of edging so we can see that. Beautiful designer series paper. There you go. Okay. And again, if you're good with cutting, you can just cut that. Let's see. If not, don't worry. We can pull out the paper trimmer. I think we can make it work. Oh, I know you can. <laughs> She's pretty meticulous. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How's that? That's perfect. Now, now this is your card. So... You can layer this over here. See, you don't want to have it too far out. Oh, it's so, so cute. So you can put it, like, right here. Mm -hmm. Or you can cut it down. Or you can do it at an angle. You just don't want it to overhang your card too much. So where would you like to put that? Let's see. I actually did, like, either, I think he... I kind of like that. Okay, so if you like it there, you know what we can do? Because we, we can just lift that up a little bit. Yeah. And look, we can put that right here. Like that. Do you like that? Oh, I like that. Yeah, okay, well, so let's cute. just lift this up a little bit more so we can get it at an angle and it'll still fit in the envelope. How's that? Yeah, I love you like that. that. Okay, so what I would do is add a little glue to the back of here just to keep okay. it down. Okay, how about just a little right, right Yeah, there. that's good. Okay. Did that come out? Nope, not yet. <laughs> Press hard. Did it come out? Oh. No. <laughs> Sometimes you have to just give it a little nudge. Okay. Or, oh, look at that. It's oh, is it out? Of, it's out. Oh, there's a little <laughs> bit more. Go ahead. You got, you got just a little bit more. Okay, I have another see. one over there. There you go. There go. All right. So now we're going to lift that up, and you can just slide. Go ahead. Slide it in there, wherever yeah. you want it. Let's we're just going to lift that up so you can get it in there. Let's see. I'm going to slide it, slide it in just a little bit. So Yeah, that's cute. Okay. Like we want to make sure that it doesn't overhang too, too much here. Let's do it down there we go how's that yeah, good I like that. 
Okay, so that, now that's so far we're good. Now I'm going to bring in another piece because this is actually going to go in the inside right here. Yeah, grab that one. And this is going in here. So this is four by five and a quarter. Okay. And I picked out this one that says you're the cherry on top. You think oh, Ryan will like that? Yeah, and that's perfect. So you're going to ink that up and you're going to stamp that right in the center here. Okay. Oh, and we're doing great. Our internet's working. Ryan's also helped us with that, thank goodness. <laughs> Okay. We're doing right in the center? Yeah, right in the center. Oh, okay. Now, so let me just tell you, yeah. this would be fine, okay? It's mm -hmm. a little, so, but because you want this to be a little perfect, <laughs> we get a second chance. Press it a little bit harder. Okay. Right. And yeah, we turn things over here. We use both sides of the paper. Give that a better press. Perfect. perfect. Okay. Now, I think over there we have some little hearts, or would you use rather use the little cherry? And mm. we're going to just put a little bit here and here. I would usually go with the hearts, I think, but because yep. of the statement, I think the cherry okay. is going to be perfect. So ink that up. Now, that's a really small stamp, so you don't have to press too hard on that. Mm -hmm. Let me show you a little trick. You see, oh, if you press okay. too hard, we get all that. Yeah. It'll probably work Let's see. as long as you don't rock the stamp. Okay. okay, but for a small stamp like that, I tell people tap, tap, tap. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna try. I'm not gonna clean it off. Normally, I would. I think I want it well right there. What okay. Now just press down and don't rock, so you don't get that other image. Oh my God, that's perfect. So cute. That's perfect. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now we're gonna flip this over, and you're gonna glue it. Put glue on both ends. Maybe a little bit at the top. Not a lot. You don't need a lot there. Okay. Go all the way down, though. You okay. want to make sure you go all the way down. There you go. Okay. Oh, you got this, girl. <laughs> and a little on top. Yeah, I would something? do a little, just so it doesn't um, come apart. or but It's not going to come apart, but it might lift. Yeah. So. We don't want that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's and then that. what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over, and you're going to lay it right down here. And Joan says, good job. She's going to be hooked on stamping like the rest of us. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so great. we can lay that flat so you can get that right in the center. Okay. I think right there is Yeah. Good. Okay. And then you're just going to go like this. Look at that. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to grab some, as we call them, what do we call them, stampers? Doodads. <laughs> some of these new little gems, these opaque gems. Now, these are already adhesive. They got stuff on the back. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take your take your pick. What color would you like to put on there? Let's see. Where where are we putting these? Well, wherever you want. Just Normally, kind of you can put, you know, a couple over here. I usually like to put maybe one here, one here, here, and here, just so it, you know. But wherever you want. Just pick your color. You can use all the colors if you want. Oh, I love them all. Let's, I think let's go with uh, maybe a couple purple ones. Okay. He does so, like purple. All right. So what you would do is that's when you're going to use this part of the take your pick tool with the okay. little clay. And we'll start with that one. Where would you like to put it? Hmm. See, it's whole, it's on there for me. Let's see. Where would you put the first one? Okay. I can well, go I always there. like to start with something on the sentiment. makes it pop yeah. out. So go ahead and take your take the take your pick tool. Okay. Grab some of those doodads and just let's put them wherever see. you want. Maybe let's try a smaller size and let's put one over here. All right, there you go. Go ahead, keep going. Use a <laughs> use a couple more. Go nuts. Go nuts. All right, let's see. I love using gems, so. Maybe right about. I don't want to put too close to the red color. Okay, a little offset. Actually, let's put this guy down here. All right. You want to use any more? Yeah, let's see. I think I want one of these very small ones. Maybe put it there. Oh, you're falling in love with the card. Marcia <laughs> says, beautiful work, Selena. Malou says she's falling in love with the card. Okay, you, you good? I think that's pretty good. Okay. So now look at now look at that. There's her card. Be my Valentine, you're the cherry on top. But one thing we like to do is, what is it? No naked envelopes. So we are gonna take this, and I'm gonna show you a little trick. I'm gonna take another piece of, this one's too small, so we're not gonna use that. We're gonna take another piece of this two-sided designer series paper, which is the gingham. And what we like to do is we like to cover the lip of the envelope. And I, one of my, samples over here wherever I had it had that done so what we do is take the glue and just add a strip of glue here and a strip of glue here okay 
Oh, there's my cards. So everybody, there will be still shots. When we're done, I'll put them on my blog, stampersdelight.com, and you'll be able to see the cards, the still shots. And I'll also put the dimensions of this card. Okay, so now you have that. So what you're going to do is you're just going to lay this over the lip like that, and then we're going to cut it. So that the, whoop, let me move this out of your way because that's Don't exactly what I would on. do. No, am I laying it? Yep, just, totally yep, all the way up to the top where the, yep, there you go. Now press it down. Okay. See, wasn't this wor worth waiting for, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen? Um, we had an appointment this morning, so I couldn't hop on in the morning like I usually do. And I said, let's stamp together. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to take those scissors and cut right around there. Okay. We like matching matching envelopes for our cards. I like that. Very cute. Now remember, you have to hide this and put it away for Valentine's Day. Hopefully Ryan doesn't watch our video. Oh yeah, I can hide it in one of my boring girly books that he'll, <laughs> he'll never, he'll never look at. <laughs> okay, so now we have a matching envelope to the card, but guess what? The front is still kind of. Mm -hmm. mm. So how about a little cherry right there? Oh, that's perfect. All right, so we're gonna you're gonna ink that up and just put. Well, you can put more than one cherry if you want. Okay, you're gonna press down yep. and not rock it. Right, and then and let's do now. Well, you're not mailing this, so you can put the cherries wherever right. you want. Right there. All right. Want to put another one on there? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. So, uh, go I ahead. I want to put, well, yeah, let me see. Okay. Put a little more ink so it comes out a little more vibrant. And maybe right next to it. All right. Look at that, everybody. First time stamper. Well, you hold it. It's your card. Isn't that great? I'm going to flip the camera real quick. Okay, hold your card up. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, can everybody Later? see? Yeah. Uh, move there, there we go. We go. Look at that. Let's give her a hand. Yay. Yeah, I love this card. This is great. I think he's going to love this card. <laughs> and guess what? I think she is now hooked on stamping. <laughs> Safe to say, yes. <laughs> Hi, Yvette. How are you? How long are the Cali kids here? Well, they're going back Tuesday. They came in the 19th. So yep. they've been here for almost three weeks. And it's going to be hard to let them go, but they got to get back home. So, oh, look, Yvette says, great job. Yes, yeah, she oh, did a great you. job, didn't she? Remember, I'll have the still shots and the measurements for this card on my blog. We both thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you from Rose. And Selena. Until next time, stampers, keep on stamping.